Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do tarot time. A read for the collective. So collective, you know the drill. Only claim this reading from your higher self and for your higher good and only if it truly resonates. If it doesn't fit, please, no forcing it, okay? Wherever you are, whoever you are out on the planet, shout out to you. We see you. We acknowledge you. We are very, very grateful for your presence. So thank you very much for taking the valuable time out of your day to join us. We love you, all right? It's solid, it's unconditional, it's a fact. All right, let's hit this. Clearing ground for tower time, please. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective. All right, collective, we are working with energy. Energy is fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody in your energetic field. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody out there today. Yeah? Yeah, here we go. Show me what's going on. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. They are the magic words. Here we go. Give it to me. Give it to me right now. Give it to me, baby. That's funk, that sweet, that funky stuff. You got a hangman. All right. So here you go. Pisces energy for chilling out and trying to figure the things the fuck out. That's what that is, okay? The hangman. Yeah. Maybe you feel trapped or confined in a certain situation or several. Maybe you just need to release and let go of something. Maybe some of you just need to figure shit out. Could be different ways around things. Different perspectives. Different points of view. Your, um... Uh, your supporting card is strength. You're strong. You are resilient. You have a lot of self-confidence. You're courageous and brave. Here you go. Look, at the foundation of the situation, we have the Ten of Cups. Some kind of emotional fulfillment, domestic harmony, happiness, and alignment, support. You know, yeah, we like it. And we can marry the children here. Show me what's going on. What's crowning? What's crowning, please, and thank you. Rest, recuperation, and healing for some of you. Some of you need to, uh, you know, contemplate your next steps forward, okay? From whatever this is. Now, I'll be honest with you. The Four of Swords usually, always, not usually, but comes after the Three of Swords. So it's about a time of, you know, rest, recuperation, and healing, like I said. So really, you know, and then while you're in this state, you are contemplating your next steps forward. This could be what you're trying to figure out here with this hangman energy. You have Leo and Pisces as the most predominant. Tell me what's coming in. Please and thank you. What's coming in? Please and thank you. Okay, what's coming in for you is... Shit, I know. So, Seven of Swords. So, some kind of betrayal. Oh, my God. Somebody's doing something. The gazy in the shadows. People, I don't know who you are, but if you're resonating with this, you know, please, stay frosty here because there is a betrayal. There is a deception. There's some kind of bullshit going on. Somebody's trying to get away with something, and they're really doing it very quietly, okay? Behind the scenes, this is, look at this. Like, I'm getting smiling faces, sometimes pretend to be your friend. This is why you need to be strong here, all right? You have an idea that there's some kind of shit going on, all right? Whoever I'm talking to, you don't. Because this is in your mind's eye. You think there's things going on under the shadow in the shadows, and there is. Okay? Now, what is in the actual environment? What are you looking at, Fable? <laughs> Alright. What's in the actual environment? Show me the actual environment. In the actual environment, okay. You could be, you know, coming out of a comfort zone right now and ready to take a risk. Maybe making some kind of a firm decision to take a step in a particular direction. It's the two of wands, you know? It's about, um, yeah, it's about making that first effort or taking some kind of a risk. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. So whatever direction that you're choosing to go in here, luck is on your side. The universe is on your side. This is Sagittarius energy. It's the Wheel of Fortune. It's about your destiny. It's decisive moments. It's fate, fortune. It could also be a soulmate. Here we go. Something's about to move rapidly forward. Whatever that is for you, okay? Whatever decision you're making, whatever path you're taking here, it's going to go quickly because you're going to be on the right path. Look, the sun is at the bottom. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. You're going to be surprised and shocked. Something's going to be illuminated to you. This, Listen, whatever this sun is, obviously, Leo energy, it could be very happy, right? Something could be illuminated to you. This is about warmth, beauty, vitality, 
Maybe some of you are having children here. Uh, the, you know, success and confidence. There's going to be some kind of surprise or shock. Something you don't see coming. Something that's going to change everything. You have Leo and Scorpio energy. Whatever this is, there might be some sadness. There might be some regret. It could be a loss. There could You could be dis just disappointed in something. There is somebody coming in with some kind of a... Um, peace offering or some kind of a gesture this is a, you know a knight of cups could really be the king of wands though somebody with leo all right well you know something's going to take off now whatever this is for you it's going to be different this could be love this could be money this could be finances some of you could be traveling you know it could be anything like that okay let's get you some of these so we can see if we can laugh here and then uh yeah let's do that here we go ready let me see Boy, oh boy, do we have flashcards for days. <laughs> here we go. Show me. Here we go. Okay. Well, listen. Those are all blanks, and we're not taking them, obviously, right? Some of these are not even filled out. All right. Well, I mix them all together. In the flow. So that's Taoism, okay? You should always be in the flow, because the minute you buck the current, that's it. You fuck everything up. You really don't. Uh, here you go. Vindicated. Somebody's about to be vindicated in any kind of a situation where, you know, yeah. Justice is coming in for that one. Somebody's name could be Jade. Perhaps you like Jade. Something about Jade. Living in fear. Somebody might be doing that. Don't do that. Somebody eats too much Chinese food. There's a theme going on here. Maybe at the Jade Garden. I'm hearing the Jade Garden. What the hell? Let me try to do it this way. So I don't like to, I don't like to see them just as much as you guys. Yeah, can't see this one. Let's see what it is. ACS? Oh, no. Somebody's calling ACS. That's adult. Uh, that's a child services. That's, yeah. Okay, well, either you're calling it on someone or someone's calling it on you. Wow. Let's see what else we have about this one. Oh, well, that explains a lot. Somebody could be an alcoholic, in which case they're not taking care of their children and somebody's calling ACS. Put the fucking booze down and take care of your kids, whoever you are. How about it? Yeah, that's right. I said it. Here we go. Stalker alert, Nile 9. So somebody's got a stalker going on around here. They got nothing better to do. There's an office romance. So it could be a stalker that's in the office, right? Well, there's a lot of action going on around here for like 5 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Somebody's name could be Denise. Somebody likes to listen to Motown. Motown music. Or somebody comes from Motown, right? Let's see. Here we go. Oh, my God. A drug dealer. So we got somebody here who's, you know, drinking and doing drugs. No wonder ACS is being called. Really? Somebody's watching and they see this. At the bottom of the deck, somebody can have car trouble. And anything could happen in the blink of an eye. So stay mindful of that. Always stay grateful in the moment, right? Because everything changes in a second. You don't even know it until it happens. You never think it could happen and then all of a sudden, bang, right? I gave you all these signs. Your binaural beat will be 555. 555 megahertz, 555 hertz, healing any any past trauma, okay? You got DG, you got E, somebody's a dog out there, or maybe you got a dog, maybe you're walking your dog, I'm hearing Wade, Wade, okay, all right, here we go, <clears throat> two D's, GW, oh, George Washington Bridge, A-E-I-O, those are your uh, letters. This is your reading. Here's a little fable. It says goodbye. We love you guys. Always remember, leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Till next time, people, love and light.